Hello and welcome to this brief overview of a new course that I'm creating. It is an online series and the topic is an introduction to FAR engineering. My name is Guillermo Rein. I am professor of FAR science at Imperial College. FAR is a hazard, has been for thousands of years and remains being a hazard in our homes and in our offices, in our industries. And the question is what have we done and what can we do to protect ourselves, our properties and the environment from this hazard. When we look into historical evidence over the last hundred years, which is when the best data exist about fire incidents, we consistently see in the United States and in the UK that there is a decrease in the fire fatalities, which tells a successful story of fire safety and fire engineering. The question is, why is this success taking place? How can we accelerate it and continue it forward and how can we share these lessons with other countries and other parts of the world who might not be having this success story. This course is made of four lectures. In the first lecture, I'll be talking about fire engineering. What is fire engineering? This is the discipline that makes sure that we have buildings, homes and offices that remain safe from fire. And this is despite the fact that we are building them, they are building our environments differently thanks to architectural innovation. Our homes are better, more beautiful, more comfortable, more affordable. The question is how do we attain the same level of safety or even lower it through the use of fire engineering. In lecture two, we will be assessing and looking into the evidence about the actual fire risk that we are exposed to. We will be looking into the best data sets that exist. These are in the United States, in the UK, and for the first time we will go and dwell into a data set that has been rarely studied before, which is the London Fire Brigade data set about the city of London. We will see and we'll share with you some of the findings that we have about the relatively good level of safety that exists in the city of London, and we will analyze the reasons for this. In lecture three, we will be talking about the layers of fire protection. These are the pillars, the most important tool that the fire engineer has. Uh, to bring safety into uh, buildings. These are made of many layers that can be reduced to at least six, the six main layers of prevention, detection, evacuation, compartmentation, suppression, and structural safety or structural resistance. These six layers um, and how they are brought into our buildings would be the topic of the lecture. In lecture four, we will be talking about material flammability. How it is it that in the last 50 years our homes have more flammable materials than before, mostly because of polymers, namely plastics, that are ubiquitous, they are everywhere. Yet our level of safety has increased, our homes and our offices are safer. And that is because we've learned to understand and to control the flammability of different materials. We will be discussing in this lecture the tests and the experiments and the calculations that a fire engineer can do to make sure that they understand or that they control this flammability. Over the course of these four lectures, I hope to answer your most pressing questions about fire safety and fire engineering and to teach you what we have uh, been learning over the many years in this field.